It is 6.43. Yes, it is. Let's confirm that. How does it feel this morning? A little groggy? The day after. The time change is always difficult. We're getting you through the morning. And Don Chubay's got some great ideas for an addition to the family, maybe? Don? Well, I know I heard uh, Jody and, and Thor talking, of course, about daylight saving time for, for children. And I'm, I'm thinking I can now relate to the fact that people that have pets say these are like their children. She even I, likes to be held I like know. a baby. It's funny. She, she likes to be held like that. I guess in her previous home, she was like that. It's funny when I watch people hold her like that. As soon as they do, they start like you, rocking like a baby. <laughs> the maternal instinct yes. starts yes. to come out. Who do we have here? This is Tiny. And she is tiny, but she's, she's also, um, she's like, she's a lot of dog still. She's got a little bit of spunk. She's seven years old. Uh, she's, uh, you know, I mean, I just love her. I've been fostering her for a little bit, and she, maybe no cats in the home, uh, good cuddle. She loves to cuddle. She attaches quite quickly to people, um, maybe you now. <laughs> oh, yeah, home sure. With. Yeah, so she's, she's a really good girl. She's going to have a dental this week, so we're going to do that. She's about, like I said, she's about seven. She's a nice little girl. I think she might do best in the home with no other dogs. Not that she has a hard time with them. It's just she just likes to be the center of attention. Well, and and who doesn't, right? It's I mean, true. of course, she's like an only child. It's true. Um, for anyone, by the way, you talked a little bit about fostering her. For anyone that is looking to foster an animal, what's involved with that? Well, come down to the shelter, talk to the staff, fill out uh, application, just to give them a bit of information on what you're able to provide for a dog or a cat, and then talk to them about um, um, how you can help, and they'll match you with some. And like for this little girl, I can take her home at night and then bring her back during the day, uh, and then also provide um, provide her with what she needs. So we're always looking for foster. You've also got a couple of great ways uh, that people can, I guess, help the SPCA. What do you have going on? Well, I don't know if you heard about it. We have our million acts of kindness, and uh, to celebrate 120 years of uh, serving the the community, the public, the animals, we're asking people to weekly sign up, uh, or sorry, sign up for a million acts of kindness, and then weekly put in what you've done as an act of kindness for animals and by the end of the year we want to have a million acts just to show people like look at all the great things we're doing for animals. And they are doing great things here at the SPCA. Jody and Riaz if anyone wants to adopt Tiny oh, you can check out the SPCA here in Vancouver. Exactly, and that's really where this little girl was found was 58th and Canby. Yes, and we can never say enough ID. So tattoo, collars, microchips, anything to, to be able to identify your cat so that we can get them home. What do we know, I guess, about Canby and 58? Well, we're thinking she's about seven, seven months, eight months old, uh, probably not spayed, if they ever not, has not spayed. So she's out looking for a friend. Oh. Clearly, <laughs> right? It's that, that, that time of year coming up, the cats are coming into heat, so uh, they may be out looking for a mate, which we don't want. We want to spay and neuter and ID them. So first things first, hopefully I wonder if, if any of our viewers know this cat could Maybe. be theirs, because as of March 11th, she'll be available for adoption. She'll be spayed and then she'll be available for adoption. So hopefully maybe somebody recognizes her and didn't think to, to come look here. Maybe they think she just ran off. But really when you're missing your, your cat, check your local SPCAs, your animal control, post, uh, post online, Facebook, just you never know, reach out. Reach out, she's reaching out. I'll <laughs> let you hold on to her right now. Because exactly, we featured, you know, um, a little dog, a Jack Russell Tiny. earlier. We had a couple of cats that we kind of took pictures of and showed you as well on Twitter. And then now for the dog lovers out yes, there, yes. we have Rocco. Rocco. Rocco's ready to go for his morning walk. Clearly, right? clearly. It's, it's time. <laughs> so Rocco. Hi, I say Rocco. hi. Rocco's hi. 10, he's a Border Collie Lab mix, and he was transferred down in our Drive for Lives program. He, um, he, he came from, I think, a large, I don't know what it was, where he lived with lots of dogs. So his previous guardian said he prefers not to be with other dogs because he, he was, I guess maybe it was too much for him. Uh, he's used to being on a property, having free roaming uh, ability. So, I mean, that's why he came in, because they just couldn't provide that for him now. Uh, being a, Maybe an apartment might be too much for him. So maybe somebody with a, a house that can give him those opportunities to lounge in the yard, do what he wants, and then do his walks at dog parks. So. Yeah, I think he likes the walks in the dog yeah, parks, that's yeah. for sure. If you want to adopt Rocco or perhaps any of the other pets here at the SBCA, you can check them out at mm -hmm. sbca.bc.ca. Um, and for anyone too that wants to volunteer, because I know that there are opportunities for volunteers as well. 
Yes, yes, we, we look for volunteers actually to take them for walks and spend time with them. They can check out our website and fill out the form there and then come on in for some orientation. Fantastic. Well, you know, rather than keep showing you Rocco's back of his head there, <laughs> Jody and Riaz, I think maybe I will take in one of those volunteer opportunities, take Rocco for a bit of a walk, and of course we'll have more as um, soon as I can get out of here. <laughs> we'll have more throughout the morning from the SBC. Okay, this is what he wants. This is what he wants. <laughs> You know, and Rocco's back from his walk, so now that we have a chance, here's Rocco's face. Oh, of course, as he looks down, <laughs> we're going to get to your weather. Perfect dog walking weather today. Uh, we are looking forward to some sunshine, and we're seeing it right now. As we speak, any fog out there will start to dissipate. We'll see a bit of a range of temperatures as well, anywhere between 10 and, if you are inland, closer to 15 degrees. 16 possible for those of you in the Fraser Valley. Uh, a little wind to the mix for those of you on the island near Juan de Fuca Strait. Otherwise, we'll see, again, temperatures nice and mild under a mix of of sun and cloud. No new snow and whistler, but you have a good you have a good base uh, and we'll eventually see some sunshine for you as well. Best chance of rain, Michelle. Um, well, periods of rain, I should say, will be on Saturday. However, the days after tomorrow will bring us some more in the way of cloud and a good chance of showers. There's Rocco. What do you think? Nice face, huh? You know, Rocco <laughs> benefited from my stupidity and not setting up the weather. So we got to look at Rocco all the way through your forecast, on. It's all good. Rocco got some good face time after the back of his head in that last uh, live I hit. Oh, he's so gorgeous. Oh, we need to find a home for Rocco. Thank you. And we've been featuring uh, some animals that need forever homes, as uh, you always have yes. here at the SPCA. It's always one of those things where we come and we go, do you have lots of animals? And, <laughs> and it's good when you don't have lots of animals. It is. You know, and our weekends are really good. We have a high adoption rate. So often you'll come in and say, oh, well, there's not that many today, Monday morning, but they're just because they're going home on the weekend. So who is this? This is Griffin. Griffin's about four years old. He uh, came into us because he was quite uh, vocal in the home. He's a Siamese, so Siamese are known to be very vocal, and he would meow at night. So he came in here looking for a new home, and you know we've done medical, we've had full checkups on him, and now he's uh, ready to go. Oh, just wonderful. Now, for anyone that is wanting to help in some way, but maybe they can't bring an animal into their home for whatever reason, um, there are other ways people can help. You need donations. Donations. We need uh, everything from towels, blankets, uh, cushions maybe for the dogs, toys, uh, even some, you know, you can make homemade toys too, right? Or hay for the rabbits, small animals, and you can, there you can get your uh, toilet paper rolls, stuff some hay and some craisins in there, things like that. So we, we need all kinds of things. And you've also got a lottery that's uh, a good way for people to help as well. That's coming up and the winning winner, I believe is 100,000. Wow. Yeah. People can find that information out on the website and then you also have this kindness project as well. Yes, a million acts of kindness. So we're asking people to sign up. It's free. You just uh, enter your information and then every week, whenever you do something kind for an animal, like you being here today, we could enter that in. And then together, by the end of the year, we want a million acts of kindness. Aw. Well, I think that people can help out in whatever way they can do it. Either way, help the SPCA. SPCA.bc.ca. Jody and Riaz will be back with your weather in just a few moments. But uh, Griffin's having a pretty good morning here with Nelson. The cutie boots right guy. there. Hey. Oh, look at those eyes.